Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. This is going to be the weekly forecast for the first week of January 2021. Hallelujah, we made it through 2020. Um, this is going to be a general reading, just looking at the energies that are going to be in the air. So take what resonates with the rest and let's get going into it. Alright, what's going on for the week ahead for the collective? Alright. Good start. Okay. Let's go with those three. So I've got these two want to come out too. Mostly you actually. Okay, so I've got the double reversed. I have the King of Cups and I have the Six of Pentacles. And the Sun. Okay, so really kind of talking about um finding some emotional stability after you know, maybe a period about growing an old identity or um, really starting to look for a little bit more holistic approaches to your emotional world or just to your life in general. Um, this can be an energy of really being tired of toxicity and really finding that you've outgrown a lot of old patterns for yourself. Um, with the sun in the reverse, this can also be kind of... Um, wondering when the sun is going to shine again um this energy can really be like the calm after the storm or the calm before the storm and really looking to find a little bit of um like a higher knowing right a higher knowing as a result of whatever is kind of going on trying to find a little bit of balance with give and take this kind of also says to me that um you know, wanting to be stable through whatever this is. For some of you, you might be dealing with um, a Cancer Pisces or a Scorpio or just someone else who really um, kind of triggers you. You know, someone who brings your emotions up in some way. Or this doesn't have to be a person. This can also be a situation, just things that make you feel some sort of a way. <laughs> um with the sun here in the reverse, the caution is always with that card, you know, don't exaggerate how happy you are. Just be really honest with yourself. Like, okay, like I'm being triggered by this thing. I'm feeling maybe anxious or afraid or, you know, like I know that there's a lot going on beneath the surface, but I'm going to embody this king of cups and really just be my authentic self, be real with myself, but stay on top of my shit. You know, I'm not going to let myself fly off the hook. I'm not going to you know, go off in every single direction. I'm really going to strive for balance with it. So that's really interesting. Let's get an oracle card just to clarify this energy for this week. What's going on with these cards for the week ahead for the collective? Soulmates reversed. Yeah, there it is. Okay. Um, so some of us might be... And really, really emotionally intense situations. I'm feeling for some of us, this is actually going to be like you with you, really trying to hack some of these patterns. Um, and some of them, some of the rest of you, like this might just be, you know, like trying to find that balance of give and take in your relationships. The soulmates card for me, I rarely ever read it anymore. Is like showing up as like this beautiful, lovely connection. No, I see this card and I'm like, fuck. <laughs> you know, this is really an energy that is difficult to deal with. It's when you and someone else are like this, you know, that devil bound, bound to something and really finding it difficult to like just take that detached step away where you have emotional what's the word sovereignty again where you feel like you're in control of your emotional world and you're back in a place where you feel good about what you're giving first of all you feel like you know that it's yours to give um but also that you are understanding that your needs are being met in return so like that give and take energy really being balanced um is what i'm seeing happening this week um, I'm getting a sense that there's going to be a little bit of pain, too. Ooh, don't we love hearing that? Mm. This is really a good thing, though, because sometimes this can also be an energy of, like, getting what you want and then realizing that it's not it. Um, you know, the sun reverse. Mm. This can be, like, oh, I just got a weird message for some of us. This will be that energy of, like, 
you know, like having a baby to fix the situation when the relationship itself is like kind of floundering or is just unhealthy in some way. And like the toxicity of it is like, you just want to like put a band aid on top of it, band aid solution instead of like dealing with like the underlying issues. So that's something to watch out for this week and just kind of be aware that like if you're feeling like really emotionally triggered by something that's okay that doesn't you know mean that there's something wrong with you it just means that you're really aligned with like sort of the energies that are in the air of the universe right now um so do do the best that you can to to work through it i guess okay that is the general energy let's do a pick a card um i'm gonna do it the same way i always do it so just have a card, one, two, or three. Where did my cards go? <laughs> In mind. Um, I will have the timestamps for them down below. Five by five, I just saw. That's cool. And you can feel free to watch all three. Usually they're a little bit interconnected, but we'll try and get three very separate messages. So let's do it. Okay, that's going to be one. This is going to be two. That's going to be three. Timestamps are below. All right, so this is card number one. I have the two of cups. Yeah, what is going on with our love lives, guys? Like, what is going on with codependency for some of us? Um, no, really, at the end of the day, this card just kind of talks about, like, are you and the people around you on the same page? This is really about having unity of vision. Um, this card talks to me about, like, how do you communicate what it is that you need to your loved ones? How do you make sure that what um, is most important to you on a really, really deep level is like presented, you know, these, this doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This can be like mother, daughter, this can be two roommates. This can be you and you know, your lover, um, whoever it is, this card really is saying that it's important to get to the root, root issues this week, really make sure that you and the people around you are aligned in terms of like, what do we want to see happen from this situation? <laughs> Let's get a clarifying. That's a lot of cards for with me here. Okay, what is this two of cups here? There might be some fear around vulnerability this week for some of us. Um, really wanting to like present a bold face when like feeling really like eek, beneath the surface yeah there it is I've got the four of pentacles in the reverse some of us might be uh sorry a little bit like overprotective of ourselves um and again that trigger feeling if you're feeling triggered spirit's really just kind of advising like hey it's okay to take a step back and like detach yourself and like go get some rest like um if you are feeling really really emotionally involved in some sort of situation um you don't overthink it you know if you feel that way there's an element of emotional maturity that comes in and says i just actually need to go take a walk i need to go clear my head i need to think about it okay don't overthink about it but think about it i also have the ten of cups so whatever this situation is really really deep connection really really beautiful like so much love covers over this situation and I'm really kind of seeing like this week the whole thing is just kind of like hacking those patterns of like ah I feel a lot of pain from the past when I think about this relationship and how are you going to identify those things for yourself how are you going to like allow yourself to set a new pattern for yourself this week so that's what I have card number one I hope that that helps let's move on card number two ace of swords Da, da, da. So you guys kind of want to take action towards something right now. I feel like there's some opposition in your environment somehow. I feel like you're really kind of wanting to maintain clarity, you know, really trying to. I'm going to get a clarifying card because this is like weird. Because what it feels like when I look at this card is like there is a. Uh, a win at all costs kind of energy or like a separation of heart from head and I can't actually tell if that's an appropriate thing for you so let's see what is this ace of swords doing here this is it queen of cups reverse three of wands reverse temperance okay okay so you might have a lot of like clarity around a situation 
um, getting that this isn't actually you, when I see this card in the reverse, there's like, you or someone else, roles can be reversed, you'll, you're gonna know, um, that there's like a pity party, or like, um, someone is just being really, like, like, emotionally dramatic, and like, it's really, really, you know, it's just like everything, there's always something wrong, or like, oh my god, there's always a reason to complain, and like, it's taking you out of the present moment, you know, if this is you, like, your own energy of being just, like, gush, um, this is just coming in and being, like, just be present, like, moment to moment, you don't have to, like, expect a ton from yourself right now, you know, temperance, temperance is, like, the card of patience, it's, like, be kind to yourself, it's okay to not have all the answers right now, even though, you know, you're probably craving that mental clarity, you're really craving that sort of, like, concise knowledge, if you're not getting it, the way to get it is, you know, maybe just being a little bit more gentle with yourself. These cards are really kind of talking about um, when you think that you should be somewhere that you're not, and so then you almost, like, take it personally, emotionally, if that makes sense. Like, it gets to the point where you, the way that you're talking to yourself, maybe, or the way that others are talking to you, or the way it's that you're allowing other people in is uh, causing a lot of frustration and delays. And so it's just really key this week, like be gentle with yourself, just be tender, be patient. Things aren't gonna happen. I mean, you know, first thing I said when I saw that card is like, you guys wanna take action. Not this week, gotta be patient, okay? Gotta be patient, give it some time um, and stay in the present moment, okay? That's all that I got for you. We're gonna move on now to card number three. Page of Swords! In fact, this card's coming up a lot lately. Hi. Gossip is a very unhealthy thing. That's the first thing I'm gonna say. I don't know if it's you or if it's somebody else. Could be a young Aquarius, Gemini, or a Libra. <laughs> um, let's see what this Page of Swords is doing here. Yeah, there could also just be like a lack of mental clarity for you this week. Oh. Hang on a second. Okay, we've got the Six of Swords and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, you guys are kind of going through it right now, pile number three. Um, I'm seeing that you guys don't feel a lot of clarity, like, mentally right now, and that's okay. Um, yeah, I feel like you're at the end of a really long battle. I feel like you, there's, like, spiritual protection, first of all, is really coming in for you and that you are protected and if you've been waiting for a really long time for a season to come to an end this is just telling me that like the end is in sight it's not here yet and you are feeling pretty tired and that is okay this card is telling me that you're in the middle of a really big transition and the maybe the impulse that um, began that journey for you is you know you're not as clear on it anymore and that's okay, but you are in the process. So the end is in sight. Um, I, this is not a super, super clear message for you, but I'm kind of getting the feeling like, hey, if you've been battling against something for a really long time, if you've been praying for protection, protection is coming for you, and it may not look the way that you, you think it will, but you are protected in this current moment. And this thing that you've been like dying for to end, is drawing to a close and you're just in the middle of a transition so this week um i mean i'm gonna give you the same advice like please be gentle with yourself because it's it's not always easy when you feel like you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders so be tender okay that's it that's all i have for you um i hope that this resonated um thanks for tuning in i will see you guys very soon bye